So today I'm going to go over some footwork uh, stuff you can do at home. Uh, these are things you can do. Uh, I'm going to be doing them in a gym, but you can do this stuff at home. Uh, so it's a four part sequence, warm up, core movement and agility or footwork. So the warm up, uh, we start, uh, each exercise is done 40 yards or 20 reps, whichever comes first. And we're going to go walking knees, rotating knees, leg swings, front kicks, kick combos, front lunges and side lunges. All right. So you can start, uh, with the walking knees here. So pretty laid back, pretty relaxed. Um, this is the first movement, so no reason to go too uh, hard on these. It's actually a big point of emphasis uh, for me when I do these. Um, the first few exercises especially, I do not want to really strain or exert myself. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to be doing rotating these. So you can see here, the knee comes up, goes outside, and goes in. So this is starting to open up. Uh, hip flexors, things like that. Again, still pretty relaxed posture, not trying to, to throw anything out uh, or anything like that. And here, as I come back, still knee going out first and then coming back, but I step behind me uh, to pull myself backward, right? All right, third exercise, leg swing. So again, this is not a knee locked out leg swing. This is just casual. So you can see I swing up, back, and step forward and as that leg swings back behind me I go ahead and touch it with the crossed hand um, my foot is pointing up but I'm really trying to keep it uh, relaxed here as well this is just walking basically and so the next thing now here I am gonna straighten try and keep my knee as straight as I can here and also, even though I was saying I didn't want to uh, go hard on the first three exercises here, I'm pushing a little bit more, but you can see I'm taking a much more deliberate uh, pace. It's a much more deliberate step. There's no reason to really go fast on this because uh, I have myself and seen other people pull things going too fast here. All right, so now here's a kick combo. So I'm doing a crescent kick, front kick, side kick. Um, if you want, you can actually do all three of these broken up into individual uh, sets. You can do all crescent kicks, all front kicks, and then all uh, step side kicks uh, for that. If you know what those are, um, I just put them all together for this particular session because we had a finite amount of time in the gym. So the next one, pretty standard again, front lunges. So the big uh, thing with front lunges uh, is that you're going to try and make sure that knee never goes over your front foot. Front knee never goes over the front foot. So you can see there, even when I drop down, I'm really focusing to try and make sure I don't press that knee forward. Um, that one's going, that's a little close right there, even though the camera's from the back, but you want to make sure you know, back knee down, lead knee uh, not over the foot. This next one is the side lunges. So here, uh, this is really working the upper groin. Um, it's a little harder to see from the front and back, but what I'm trying to do is really push my hips backward so that my shoulders are in line with my knees or coming toward my knees as I go down. And that's really gonna focus on the upper inner groin. I'm not trying to stretch my hamstrings. I'm not uh, really trying to stretch my quads. I'm really focused on uh, upper groin here. And then that little twist uh, there just kind of helps. It's a little movement training, a little uh, flare, uh, just to keep us uh, going as we're moving. So next, we're gonna go to a movement circuit. It's a shin box, low lunge, low hurdler, a lizard and then a uh, spider-man lunge so here's the shin box you roll back on your shoulders step forward pull those shoulders back pointing the hands toward the ground come forward push back into a low hurdler stretch now from here you're going to put the toe up on the back push the chest out and i'm going to rotate out out and down as you come up here, you're gonna sit back. Here's where you get a little more hamstring stretch. You're gonna come back to the ground, sit down, and you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now you're gonna do this uh, a total of 10 times, uh, five each side. You can, again, break this up, do each exercise eight times individually, uh, four on each side if you wanna break this down side by side. Uh, one other little thing, so you notice here when I go into the, the lizard, lunge my hand is on the outside of my arm and then when I come back down I place my hand to the inside 
as I come up and go to that Spider-Man, right? Just to make that a little easier. And then also notice as you go into the Spider-Man, you come all the way up to your feet. So I didn't show the core because nobody needs to see somebody do planks, but it's front plank, side plank, back plank, and you do that series um, two times. So you're going to get a total of two and a half minutes of planks per round or five minutes total. Uh, you can rest for a minute in between uh, each set. Uh, so from there, I'm going to go to the footwork circuit. So this is going to be done on a ladder. You don't need the ladder. You can do these in place. Uh, if you don't use a ladder, I would do about 40 reps per exercise. Uh, so there's going to be a lot uh, happening here. It's 20 exercises in all. I'm not going to read them all off because we're going to get into uh, what each one is. Um, but also because the, the workout we did uh, this day was lower body heavy, I didn't do the hops, so those won't be on video, but it's, it's a hop. So first one, oh, this by the way is showing me uh, going at a regular speed for these. This is not the speed that I'm doing in the rest of the video, right? But this is just to give you an idea of where the footwork is going. Right, this is the speed that I'd be doing these at, and even for the more complex ones. But don't try and go this fast if you're just learning these, right? It takes a little time to learn them. So the first group is just regular one in. Put one foot in front of the other, going up and down. So I'm doing these low, uh, not picking the knees up, but as you can see here, you can also do these by pulling the knees up. You can get them above hip level. So next one is two in. It's one foot, one foot, one foot here. So whatever your lead foot is, you're gonna bring that into the next square, bring the other one up behind you. Uh, here, you can also do this one as a high. If you go high, you only put the lead, pull the lead foot up. So it's like a, a powered or a quick pickup in the lower foot or the back foot drags behind it, right? This is to really isolate some uh, pull power in that front leg. So if here, the last little warm up set is a hip twist. And what you really want to focus on here is pulling both hips through. But as you can see, I'm going slow there. What you really want to do is kind of closer to that speed where every time your feet hit, you go immediately. Uh, so the next one is just hopping. You got two feet in, two feet out. So it's hopscotch, you know. Uh, you can also do this where you lower your body. Uh, all the way down and go into like a deep horse, but I really want to focus on quick feet here. So the next one is gonna be two steps up, one step back. Two steps up, one step back, or kind of like a cha-cha, uh, if you will, right? So this is another one it's good to do slow because it can take a little bit of time to really get this uh, pattern right. All right, next one. It's two steps up, two steps back, but it's with uh, both feet going into the square. So two up, one back. But as you go two up, you bring both feet with you. So you notice my hands might look a little weird here. If you wanna go faster, one of the things I usually recommend to people is really chopping your hands and trying to make these, uh, these movements uh, quick. Um, yep. So one other thing with this is you wanna stay on the balls of your feet as much as you can, like not on your tippy toes, but just the balls of your feet. All right, so the next one here, you're gonna go step up with into both, step out, and then step back in. So it's up, out, in, up, out, in. And everyone is right, left, right, left, right, left there and as you come back it's going to be left right left right left right left right left right left right so this is one that you saw in the little intro that i really like to do uh quick uh if i can and you know people usually ask me how uh, you know i move pretty well for a big guy which i'm not showing here but these drills are really kind of the secret to that so next grouping is a lot of sideways movement so i'm going to start coming in just one in 
and then one in, one together, one in, one together here. So one in, together, in, together, in, together, just straight sideways. Usually if I'm doing this one faster, I like to be lower to the ground as I'm doing this. So the next one is a classic Ollie shuffle. Some people like to do the Ollie shuffle where they're a little bit uh, shoulders over knees. I actually like to keep my shoulders up a little bit, bit for this and tap and just tap the toes here. Okay, next one is two in, two back, two in, two back. So this one uh, for my Filipino martial artists is basically your uh, male and female triangle uh, angles here, right? Even though, I'll, you know, honestly, the first times I started doing this is a great uh, defensive back drill where what you're really focusing on is shifting your weight forward and backward while keeping your hips under you but you can repurpose it. Now this one's a little bit of a break, just straight forward, shuffling in, shuffling out. Uh, and here you can also, you can throw punches with this. You can turn this one into like stepping forward with a jab or stepping forward jab cross. But notice here, the big thing is I'm moving that back foot. I'm not bringing it into the square, but I'm moving it in rhythm with the lead foot. That's a big thing I wanna focus on. And now we're doing what I call a pendulum. Uh, the pendulum is both feet coming together. So I'm going to step in together, out together, in together, out together. And as I go, what I'm hoping that I'm doing is every time I change an angle, my center line changes, right? Or I turn my hips so that, so that they're facing uh, to the inside. All right, the next one, this is mostly shuffles. This is again, quick feet here. So I do this. Now, the thing about this is I actually want to keep my feet close to the ladder. So if you look, I'm close to the black on all these steps here. All right. So that's what I'm aiming for. And again, as you go, you can really uh, kind of speed this one up. It's a great one to, to uh, work on that rhythm. Now, same footwork. So in, in, out in in out the difference here is that i'm holding and if i were doing this one fast i would still be going at this tempo right this is a this is not a speed movement and actually what i would do here is really sink down uh, on those outside so you can see my legs bent here but it's not really low i bend all the way down like a like a figure or a speed skater not a figure skater now this last one uh, for this set is a combo so you do short on one and then wide on the other. So quick and then hold. All right, so this next one, these are a little complicated. So feel free to kind of slow the video down here and come back and look at it. But this is a back cross step. These, these cross steps and twists are really for working the hips and it's harder to see because I'm not snapping that back foot as I come in uh, like I would be if I were doing this fast. But what I really wanna do is as I step my back foot in here, I wanna turn my hips so that my hips are uh, running pa parallel with the ladder. But this one, you're gonna step up, back in, up together, up, back in, up together. It's another kind of cha-cha movement here. Now this one is, I'm gonna have my feet uh, square and then I'm gonna pull my outside foot back, push the inside foot forward. And what I really wanna focus on is activating my glute to pull that leg back. This is kind of like retracting a, a round kick is the energy that you'd be using here. And then for the other half of that, I can go forward. So I start sideways and I pull the lead foot to the outside and push the back foot forward here, right? And so I, what I'm really doing here is I'm focusing on pushing that back leg on that one. I'm pushing it forward like I were throwing a round kick. Now here, uh, this one's a little slower. It's a lot slower. This is really a balance one. And I left this particular take in uh, be, to show it's really a lot harder than it looks. Uh, you're just jumping and turning from, so your shoulders are going from facing one side to the other. This is more what it should look like. You wanna get your balance and stick the landing on every one and then jump and twist as you go. So I didn't record this last grouping uh, here. It's just you hop with two feet in, then you hop with uh, your left foot in, your right foot in. And then the last one is you, you jump up and you knee tuck. So you take a short, uh, uh, just a short distance hop, but you're trying to hop high vertically, bring your knees into your chest and go. 
right? So that's the footwork exercise. I tried to make these a little quick because uh, I wanted this to be a reference video, not a tutorial. Uh, but uh, this is the kind of stuff that I do for my footwork. So give it a uh, shot, try it at home, and I'll see you guys next time.